my name is Joshua Karasak. I'm a winemaking specialist with Anardis USA. This is part three in our series for handling sluggish or stuck fermentations during harvest. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to detail how to use an artist step micro M to uh, essentially eliminate competition in the fermentation and get a sluggish fermentation to, to finish. So in the last two videos, I detailed the causes of sluggish or stuck fermentation. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail about that in this video. If you want to see more details, then I would go to the first uh, video in this series, part one. But basically, uh, what I'm going to be addressing uh, of this whole list of sluggish or stuck fermentation uh, causes is the competition and accumulation of acetic acid. So uh, the difference between a sluggish and stuck fermentation, I also detailed this in the last uh, in the last two videos. But essentially, there's a window of opportunity where we can intervene to prevent a stuck fermentation. So at the first sign of a sluggish in, uh, fermentation, we can intervene to essentially prevent a stuck fermentation. And so at this sluggish inflection point is when we're going to want to intervene uh, with the enological tool, tool the stab micro M. So uh, one of the main causes of sluggish or stuck fermentations is competition. Um, so competition from native bacteria that are present on the fruit when it comes into the winery. Essentially what can happen is during a primary fermentation you can have proliferation of bacteria, either malolactic bacteria or lactic acid bacteria, uh, or acetobacter even. Uh, and that proliferation of malolactic bacteria essentially can inhibit Saccharomyces cerevisiae, as other studies have shown. So uh, one thing that we need to consider is that we need to eliminate the competition in the fermentation in order to prevent a stuck fermentation from happening. Acetobacter has also been shown to have this tendency, so we need something that's able to eliminate competition from both acetobacter and from malolactic bacteria. So I mentioned these two critical tools in uh, the first part of this series. I, I already detailed the Nutri from No Stop in part two. Uh, now I'm going to talk about an artist stab micro M. So an artist stab micro M is essentially a way to eliminate competition in a sluggish fermentation and allow Saccharomyces cerevisiae to have the competitive edge. So a stab micro M is basically a version of Kaidozan. So Kaidozan is an antimicrobial fining agent. Uh, it's used in wines to eliminate uh, spoilage microbes. And essentially, uh, Kaidozan in an advanced form is the uh, Stab Micro M. So Stab Micro M is pre-activated Kaidozan, Kaidozan that goes through an extra processing step to make it more lethal for uh, spoilage microbes. And so uh, Stab Micro M works on Lactobacillus, Pediococcus, Acetobacter, Britannomyces, uh, wild, uh, wild yeast, and all sorts of other spoilage microbes that can be uh, competing with Saccharomyces cerevisiae. The nice thing is that the, the Stab Micro M doesn't uh, inhibit the Saccharomyces cerevisiae. So by applying it to a fermentation where we're uh, having competition between malolactic bacteria and Acetobacter and the Saccharomyces, what happens is that the Stab Micro is able to eliminate the spoilage microbe and give the Saccharomyces cerevisiae the competitive edge. We've seen in many circumstances when winemakers have a sluggish fermentation that when they apply the Stab Micro M uh, during that sluggish uh, situation that they're able to get the fermentation to continue and, and uh, finish um, to completion. So again, just revisiting the causes of sluggish or stuck fermentations. Uh, with this, uh, with the use of Stab Micro M, we're eliminating the competition and the accumulation of acetic acid. Uh, so two big points that we can basically scratch off our list uh, for, for causes of stuck fermentations. We're dealing with that with the Stab Micro M. So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you want to learn about the full protocol for preventing sluggish fermentations, I would encourage you to click on the link to go to part four, where I'll detail a full protocol for preventing stuck fermentations um, in that video. So thank you for watching this video. Mm -hmm.